Cool. Hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Avatar review, and this one is on Jake and Atiri's first flight on the Banshees, which is now being released. So on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO logo, newer style Avatar logo, of course, and see picture of the whole set flying in action, and that interesting border going down the sides, and a bit of the floating mountains of Pandora in the background and selections of the two minifigs included, and age recommendation is 9 and up, set number 75572 has 572 pieces. And flip on to the back, you see, you see a different view of the set, and a couple of features of it, and also the size of one of the Banshees, of course, and all the logos again, and yeah. And now onto the instruction manual, where you can get not one, but three manuals to build with. Since, of course, a little thing that they're now doing with sets is just separating it out by bag and the component of the set for like building as a group and all. But on the back, first one, add for the online survey, and then all the pieces that come with the set. And again, and add for rebuild world. And then a little advertisement of all the sets together and also how all the uh, Pandora terrain bits of each set can connect together, of course. And then also do you get a little, little screenshot from the movie, which goes on with a few pages which we haven't seen going on in sets in a long time, and also that progress bar again, but, and of course, the little Pandora wisps in the background, which kind of neat, kind of nice, of course. And then second manual builds a little terrain section, and just the last building steps of that. And on the back, just like an avatar logos. And then number three, which just the other banshee, Rebuild the world again, and another screenshot of it. A screenshot from the film, and last step. Of that. Oh, also on this one, advertises how to separate it to end also times three, which means can separate it to three different people, which kind of interesting and a little different to see. So yeah, and also. Like most, some recent sets does include this little envelope thing that protects all the manuals and also the uh, sheets of the wings together, that, which quite nice to see. And so now on to the mini pigs included. Oh, hang on. That we which have on the left, Jake Sully, there. and of course, uh, and the Teary, of course. The only two mini figs included with this set, of which, and also these two Navi figs, quite interesting how they are. And from first glance, you can see that they which have finally brought back the long legs and long arms, which we see, saw on Woody and Jesse in the 2010 Toy Story line. Well, Great to see return here, but one big qualm with it that I have, which I'll go over later, but however, the torso print and leg printing all looks really good for that. And the new style headpiece, the which, as you can see, kind of interestingly shaped, which if I take off the hair piece, the which does have the ears on the sides and on face, kind of, even though it's shaped kind of similarly to a regular minifig head, but although I think even though maybe perhaps it's just to make it look more accurate and realistic, of course. And from the back of which, still get some nice, uh, quite nice back printing thing with the stripings, and also with some silver glittery kind of effect to it, which I'm not sure if you can notice in this video, but if you see it in real life, you would know. And also do have kind of a lightsaber rod attachment bit on both hair pieces which is for a key feature, which I'll go over later, and 
also good to see a reuse of the this tail piece that we saw on the uh, Looney Tunes minifig uh, collectible minifig series of that, which great to see there. Although it would be nice if they were also uh, striped uh, like the rest of them, uh, but yeah. And so now for the size of the mini fig, these mini figs is if I like take a like it's like have next to them a regular mini figure, which regular mini figs do come in a couple of other sets, of course. So, oh, minus the helmet bit, which as you can see, they was just a slight bit taller. But although, if you notice in the movies, they which are like twice as much taller, which, and if you remember the, like, if anyone here remembers the, uh, Technic, or the fig, special figures that came with the Technic sets in the 1990s that LEGO did, well, those of which the most rightful size of it, but, although it would have been great if they were the same for that, but, uh, aside from that, still great minifigs here. And for the rest of them, and also for the arms of which, I still would still would have wished if there were some. I think they should have included the uh, blue, dark blue stripes on the sides, but maybe they'll fix that in the future. But whatever. But as for the mini fig selection of this set in general, I think two of which kind of steep for this set, because if you remember this sequence in the movie, there's a couple other Navi figs. That, that there also were like Sute and so on. Although it would be nice if that was also if he was also included, but to whatever. And that's and also the spear pieces I think do look quite good with the traditional uh, bar piece and lightsaber hilt and one of those tips from recent castle sets, of course. Oh, it, and they do look quite good for that. Then yeah. And that's about it with the mini figs. And so now on to this little bit, which is kind of a rocky grotto part of Pandora, or of Pandora, which as you see, kind of a mix of light gray, dark gray, and a few various colors all over. And all the cornerish design, but also not much going on there. But also some good snot over here for that. And then from the front area, which is quite interesting. Uh, let me zoom in a bit. Well, I do have a lot of corner plates and also some of these translucent uh, blue pieces representing water on there and also some bits of water which does look quite good for that and also this upper area which as you see does have a little leaf bit there or get plenty of leaf bits here and also with that little bar piece of which which also on the other side is this little clip bit is just so you can clip it onto the uh, rocky areas of some of the and other avatar sets in this wave. And so you can make a large a display of Pandora, of course. And but also do you get as but also get these like palm tree pieces in a uh, magenta kind of coloring of which quite inter quite nice to see there and also do you get and also, on the one side, the which do get a lot of the like traditional carrot pieces, but in glow in the dark, which, and of course, representing the uh, luminescent, bioluminescent jungle that Pandora has. Which, although would be nice if there were some other, some more glow in the dark pieces here representing that, or maybe you can just add in a a, a light effect or light kit to it. But yeah.
and as for these parts of it, as for these rocky kind of bits, obviously representing bits of the floating mountains of Pandora, of course. And there's this switch on a like city, uh, has a city, uh, crane bit to it, but in trans blue, representing a waterfall going down. But however, to these two of which do have studs upwards, but one of which is upside down. Kind of quite interesting how that is. Like this top bit of which, which do have a couple more carrot pieces that are in glow in the dark and a corner slope bit there. And if you wonder what this little technique bit here, as well as one lower down, is for is which for the banshees, which I'll go over later. And out of for the sections of Pandora in the sets, this is one of the larger one of the larger one. And of course others are a little bit smaller, or actually probably a little wider than that. But I'm not sure, but we'll see. And that's about it with that section. And now on to the Banshees themselves, which all probably represent or show one. So, so the Banshees here. Well, from first glance, it's the builds of which kind of similar to that of some of the like dragons that we usually get in Ninjago, but at least they which a good little bit different since they which are like traditional flying lizard creatures that aren't dragons, of course. So like for the headpiece, which is kind of similar to some uh, ant creature sets. And just like most dinosaurs, you can open and ride up for that. And of course, at the fin bit down there and and like others of which does have a spot where you can fit a ball joint piece into and also what you get are these new couple whip pieces which do look kind of like regular whips but have an attachment bit on them and as this little section of whip which is done with some snot techniques and what this little uh, slope here is for, and also with a clear stud, in it, most likely representing the like breathing vents that the banshees and most Pandora creatures have, of course. And as for the wings of which, which if look underneath, made of just t uh, t uh, uh, rods and bits, of which with a film material on. And however, this film of uh, which does look quite good, has a nice translucent effect or clear effect to it. But however, oh, it's done really well, except for the writing on there. For that. But as for this, for the back area, oh, it does have the like Nexo Knights shield piece on there and a few exposed studs on there. And the tail of which, the classic common tail piece that we've seen on most dinosaurs and things for a long time, but at least does have an extra bit on the back part, representing the extra tail flaps or something. Yeah. And as for the back wings, also kind of the same thing going on. And then both wings of which are both on ratcheted kind of joints. And so you can like pose it in the wings in different ways like that. Also, if on both banshees, whereas for this banshee in particular, a whole lot of the like tealish or turquoise kind of coloring mixed with blue and lime green. But, but however, the teal of which great to see a lot of on a specific thing. And as for this what this brown area, which is probably just the saddle part of which, where you can the clips where you can attach the spear onto. And also where you can, in single pair of studs where you can sit your Navi minifig on too. And also these bits you can bring in. And 
attach onto the hair piece of it and let them like help maneuver it like in the movie of course which I think clever that they great that they captured that but yeah and that's it with that banshee and now on to the other banshee of which Jake's one which as you can see everything quite the same but with but bright blue regular blue white and purple also good interesting color scheme for that And of course, same old things where you can get your Jake Sully minifig on too. And uh, let me show up betterly. Where you can slip it on like so. Oh, also, what I forgot to mention with the other is. That they both of which do have these like technic rod piece sticking down, sticking out, and that's so you can attach it onto the terrain bit. Which here's it again, and so you can like take it, so you can get that and then attach it right onto there, of course, and also same with the other. Like so, all they could like detach that off and make them look fully complete without worrying about it sticking out. And so now on to the final vert. So overall, I think this is which a, a quite good, really good set for that. Like get two uh, creatures and also three builds for sixty dollars, which barely see much, but in price per piece, so which done quite good for that. And also kind of stinks why there's two mini figs included. Although an extra one would have been better for that, but or maybe if it were another Navi, which maybe would have been a little too much, but. Although it would have bumped the price up more, but at least still fair. Although this which does also work out as a nice display piece, and and also the banshees which provide plenty of good swoosh value for that. And those, and of course, good to see some nice pieces like a lot of good teal pieces that you can use for your mocking, and also the head pieces of the banshees done really good for that. And also the uh, Pandora uh, Rotto or Rocky area done quite good for that. At least is kind of a largish one, except for the one that comes with the Trio Soul set, which is a lot larger. But yeah. And so now, if y'all still have this set, or if you're looking to get this set to start your avatar collection, then definitely pick this up. Or if you're looking to get this for your avatar set collection. And you're excited about seeing Avatar 2 of which also definitely pick this up. And then that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.